Alrighty guys, welcome back to another sweet video and in this tutorial I want to talk to you guys about something called typecasting. Now typecasting is pretty much a way that you can temporarily change the data type of a variable. So you can pretty much turn, turn floats into ints, ints into floats, tomatoes into tomatoes, potatoes into potatoes. So let's make a quick program. Let's say that you own a pumpkin farm and you want to figure Really, someone is freaking texting me. I'm gonna read this. Who is it? Oh, it's uh my mom. No, someone else. Oh, buddy is going to Cracker Barrel later, and he want to know if I want to go. But I'm trying to make a tutorial about pumpkins here. So basically, you own a pumpkin farm, you sell pumpkins every day, and you want to figure out how much money you make on average, average each day. So let's go ahead and do that. So of course we're going to need a couple variables to store these values in. So float, average, profit, and this pretty much is the end goal um, that we're going to be looking for. So in order to calculate that price, pumpkin. All right. So we sell our pumpkins for I don't know how much does a pumpkin cost? Ten bucks maybe. So that's what that's going to be. Our int sales. Um, how many pumpkins did we sell? 59. And of course, int days worked. And we'll just set this equal to 7. We'll say we worked a full week, no days off, because we are the best pumpkin farm there is. So you might be like, okay, I know how to do this. No problem. Bucky, I don't even need to watch the tutorial. What you do is you pretty much take the price of a pumpkin and then you multiply it by sales and that's going to give you pretty much the total amount of money you made and then I'm just going to go ahead and divide this baby by days worked and that I think would give me the average amount of money I made per day I mean it looks pretty good right now so let's see what happens so print F and we'll just put like a average daily profit in of course it's a flow and we'll use the dollar sign why not so dollar sign and then you put ampersand where yeah ampersand and or excuse me not the ampersand what the heck am I talking about and percent sign flow in since this is a dollar indeed let's go ahead and use 0.2 because you know um it'll, it'll be like a dollar fifty cents or something two decimal places and of course the float that we want to use or output to the screen is average profit alright so let's see how much money we make a day okay so the average daily profit is eighty four dollars okay well hold on a second let me, let me just check something here calc calculator you know I have to verify this I need to be very specific so basically what I'm gonna do is okay price of pumpkin so that's the 10 and what do you do you times that by sales do you so where's the times on this thing so times 59 and then okay take that value and you divide it by 7 and whoa, 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 what the heck is going on this thing the calculator that we made it's telling me 84 but this stupid thing you know I'm calling Microsoft they might be wrong because I know that this code is perfect well check it out the reason that this doesn't work as expected is because C doesn't have a very good time or it's not very happy when you try to combine floats and ints together in equations so it says okay if you're gonna multiply stuff make sure they're all the same data type and also make sure that someone stops freaking texting me in my middle of the tutorial anyways so in order to take these variables and convert them to floats what you want to do is right before the variable name add parentheses and type the data type that you want to convert it to. So now what this is going to do is it's temporarily going to change this price of pumpkin which was an int into a float. And again it's not going to change it permanently. If you ever use it in your program again later on it's still going to be int. Just for this line in this line only or this instance of the variable it's going to be a float. Alright so what else do we need to do? We need to convert sales to float and days work to float because we want this average profit to be a flow. So now let's go ahead and now that everything is converted, we'll go ahead and run this and check it out. 
that's what I'm talking about. We finally got that 29 cents that we worked our butts off for. So again, if you have something like this and you're converting them to floats all the time, then that probably means that you should have started with floats to begin with. This is really only for um, instances where you need to temporarily change it only you know not throughout your whole program only in one place or maybe two so that is how you do that again it's called type casting and oh crap you know what I gotta go work on my pumpkin so um well I'll see you guys later actually I'm going to Cracker Barrel not gonna lie so anyways I'll see you then